and welcome to another edition of The Brash. Show and entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where I always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Here to talk about Roman Reigns, Vince McMahon, Dean Ambrose, the booking, the draft, and more. And if you want to support Show and Entertainment, click the, click the link below to donate or make a video on YouTube saying you are a real Show and Vince subscriber. Just make sure the title says, I am a real Show and Vince subscriber. Dave Meltzer noted that Roman Reigns' violation was recent. And that some people knew of the failure by last week. By last week. So the WWE had time to plan, to project, and to assume to put Roman Reigns out of money in the bank. Way before money in the bank. Take him out of Raw. Take him out of the Battleground main event. No, no, no. We're going to book Reigns. We're going to put him in a match. We're going to make him look strong. We're going to make him last long. Oh, but wait a minute. We can't do that because we got to make him lose that title now. We're going to have Dean Ambrose cash in. No, the... Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm excited that Dean Ambrose is the WWE champion. But the, the report goes on to state that his championship reign is not going to be long. Um, so WWE knew of Reigns' failed test before last Sunday's Money in the Bank, where Reigns dropped the title to Ambrose. Dave Meltzer reported in the latest issue of the Wrestling Observer that the decision for Ambrose to win the title was indeed a late change. And it was a game changer in more ways than one, that's all I gotta say. Although it's unclear if it was due to the violation or just a coincidence. Well, you know, the WWE, they didn't want to do it. I mean, the WWE, rumors going around, speculation that WWE didn't even want to punish. Well, they didn't want to suspend Roman Reigns. They just wanted to punish him. They just wanted to him to no, no longer be the WWE champion. You know, Roman Reigns should go in the back of the line. Roman Reigns should work his way back up organically and get over organically. That's what Roman Reigns should do in my mind. But you know, the WWE powers that be are so high on Roman Reigns. And once again... But this isn't about jeopardizing. This is about maximizing. This is about bettering yourself. This is about enhancing. This is about... In, you know, Roman Reigns, he does bring the performance. There's no doubt about that. He is performance personified. But, you know, the WWE went about this the, the wrong way anyway. So th this is a way for the WWE to restart, in my opinion. Vince McMahon is pressuring Pat Patterson to get more involved in the WWE creative process to help the company after the split the WWE brand split, the WWE draft, until WrestleMania 33. Instead of waiting until Royal Rumble like usual to get involved, DWN says that the storylines in WWE right now are on fast forward. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know, guys. Uh, it's speculated that the creative for both Raw and SmackDown have high pressure to produce captivating stories and new matchups to up the ante for once the WWE draft plays out. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, the WWE draft, hopefully this is something that it's, it's extraordinary. The WWE wanted to bring back past stars, past performers. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to bring out the best in show and view and entertainment, all you got to do is donate to my future by clicking the link below. If you want to, do if you want to donate higher than $85, right now, NWO Mini Pole Dancer is the highest, the top donation. But he doesn't have to be the top donation because if someone donates more than that, your name and your donation gets realized and recognized. And your name and donation could be on here for a week, a day, a month, a year. Who knows? But you don't have to donate $85 or higher. You can donate $1. If everybody donated $1, can you imagine the future, the longevity of Sean View Entertainment here on YouTube.com? If everyone donated $2, $3, $4... It still helps my future on YouTube.com. Don't think you have to donate $85. You can donate $1, $2, $3, $4, and it will still go a long way, and I will still get you'll still get a mention on the show. But if you want to make it on the board with the bright lights and you want to be the champion of champions, all you got to do is donate a, an amount higher than $85, and you will be the new name, the new champion on here. You probably ask him, well, Sean, what happens if someone else donates $85? Well, then you will be co-champions. You will both be on the board. If everyone donated $85, well, guess what? All your names get put on the board because they'll all be a tie. But enough of that. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more on the draft, and there is more on the creative the days of Raw being booked on the fly will likely be ending, and there is rumors that while Shane McMahon and Paul Heyman are not on the creative team, there is some input being put in, and Triple H obviously has more of an influence over this as well, and that's what you would expect, because Triple H is all over NXT, that's Triple H's baby, and you know, great things are happening right there. 
expect more consistency in WWE programming, and the belief is that between Raw and SmackDown, there should be more than enough reasons to keep tuning in from week to week. And ladies and gentlemen, according to according to uh, those within the company, uh, next month's WWE draft and bring extension, the stuff involving The Shield and John Cena versus AJ Styles was originally scheduled for SummerSlam. Um, that's just a little bit of news bits there because there was some stuff that was said earlier in the week that I just wanted to make sure that my viewers and subscribers are caught upon. Tyler Breeze is set for a makeover after the WWE draft. One idea was to further the tag team with Fandango with a different feel. Vince McMahon is very, very high up on AJ Styles, and he was overheard saying that he wished he would have signed AJ decades ago. Once Roman Reigns does return to the WWE, there is already a ton of speculation that he could be taken down a peg or two as concerns the way that the WWE pushes and portrays him. It's been a roller coaster ride for Roman Reigns over the last week, and during the Money in the Bank preview Sunday night versus Seth Rollins, there was... Worry that he was injured in his Money in the Bank WWE title match with Seth Rollins. Then he lost the WWE title to Seth Rollins. Then the next night on Raw, Roman Reigns lost yet again in the main event of Raw. Was then hit with Dean Ambrose's finisher, Dirty Deeds, to end Raw. And then, just this week, he was, uh, just to put the chair in the top, suspended. He was suspended for violating the wellness policy uh, from the WWE. Wow, that's, that's huge, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely huge. So, ladies and gentlemen, your comments, your opinions. Remember, donate a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. If everyone donated one dollar, Sean Vuent's future would be in good shape. But if you want to get on the board, just donate an amount higher than $85 or donate $85. Donate that or and don't hate. And you'll get on the board with the NWO Mini Pole Dancer. Your comments, your opinions. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. More to come.